Is it taking more time for designing circuit in MATLAB Simulink? Don't worry, here I will explain you most useful shortcuts and basics of MATLAB Simulink to speed up your simulation. First of all open your MATLAB and get into Simulink. For getting into Simulink we have two options here. We generally get into Simulink by using this Simulink icon. If you just click on this one then you can easily get into Simulink. Or you can also use the this command window. Here you can give the command like Simulink. S-M-U-L-I-N-K and click on enter. Then it's automatically open your Simulink. These are the two ways. First way is by click on this Simulink icon and second one is give the command like Simulink and click on enter then you can directly go to Simulink. Okay, click on the blank model. This is the blank model. Here we need to design our circuit. Okay, so for designing circuit we need the elements right. So to take the elements we need to go to our Simulink library. Here also we have two ways. First way is all are taking elements by using this Simulink library. Here this is the Simulink library symbol okay library browser this is if you click on this one then here we have the all elements okay this is the first way and the second way is if you want any element just left click on mouse here you can get the search option in this search option you can search the any block okay for example if i want diode just enter the name diode that's it so here you can get the all the elements then you can take anything that's it your diode is here this is the fast technique for taking the elements or you can also use this library browser also by clicking on this library browser you can search the elements okay in simscape simpower systems special technologies we have the all elements what we want okay so if you want to take the elements in library browser click on the element what you need here i am taking the ac voltage source okay then right click this one and add this block to model untitled okay this is the another way to take the element or you can also another shortcut to insert this library blocks to your blank model that is nothing but so here if you want to take the voltage measurement no need to again right click and add this model to untitled okay just click on this one and use the command control i to insert this block into that blank model okay so after use the command control i then you will get the voltage measurement so this is the voltage measurement and if you want to take the resistance go to simscape power systems special technologies fundamental blocks and elements here you can get the series rlc branch so this is the one processor or if you don't know the elements where they are then go to your blank model and just one click at left side of your mouse and search option will come so in this search option you can search the rlc branch directly rlc branch so here you will get the series RLC branch. Just click on this one. That's it. Here you can directly getting the element. Okay. So these are the two ways for taking the elements. So if I want to connect these blocks, just take the elements and connect like this. Okay. So here I want to connect the this load at this terminal. Okay. But here I want to rotate this element. So to rotate this block, we can use the shortcut Control R. Just click on the element you are going for rotate and just enter the command control r that's it it can automatically rotate right side okay i'm going to take the resistance only so take the resistance only that's it and if you want to rotate this diode also use the command control r now i'm going to design the full bridge rectifier so in full bridge rectifier we have four diodes right but here we have only one diode so how to take another diode so many people again go to library and take the diode that is not the correct thing and so many people just use the command like control c control v for copy and paste that is also not a correct way to take another diode okay just right click on your mouse and drag that's it you have the another diode this is the fast way okay if you go for control c and control v it taking process right so just right click on this block and drag here you can get the four blocks that's it now connect these all blocks so connect the circuit like full wave rectifier okay so if you want to know the element where it is in library just click on the element and use the command control l then it can automatically goes to library in power library elements you are having the this series rlc branch so this is the one way to finding the element where you are taking okay and you can also 
see the diode where it is came from just click on diode and use the command control l that's it in power library power electronics you are getting the diode now if you want to make these four as subsystem one subsystem because these four are diodes right so if you want to make the these four as subsystem then click on these four diodes and use the command control g that's it this is the subsystem right so here you can name it as a diodes so if you don't want to see the all four diodes just click on that one and use the command control g to make them as a subsystem if you double click on this one then you will get the four diodes that's it so this subsystem shortcut is used for so many circuits like uh, heavy circuits with seen like a smaller ones okay so if you want to see the inner block of diode means if you want to see look under mask you can use the command control u so click on the element which you need to see the look under mask and use the shortcut control u that's it this is the inner block of your diode so like this you can see the inner block of any element as you can also see the ac voltage source inner block click on that one and use the command control u this is the ac source inner block that's it and to create a mask of this subsystem okay diode subsystem you can click on that one and use the command control m that's it here you can add this subsystem like one block like ac voltage source here. like this you can also create the mask so control m is the shortcut for making mask okay so here you don't need to take these four diodes in matlab we have so many inbuilt blocks if you go to library in power electronics you can get the universal bridge okay so click on this one so here if you double click on this one then take that two arms that's it this is the single phase two bridge rectifier you can give this input as a and b ac and plus and minus to this dc that's it so like this you can also take this inbuilt blocks okay no need to connect the four diodes again okay so matlab can arrange these blocks directly so for example in older versions of matlab we don't have solar panels but in newer versions we are having the solar panels inbuilt block okay this is the pv array inbuilt block but in older versions like 2009 2008 we don't have the this pv array we need to again draw the equivalent circuit of solar panel okay that is the reason why we need to use the latest versions of matlab okay for rectifier we are giving the input as ac and output as dc right but if you want to take the inverter what will happen we want dc as input and ac as output right means here these two terminals will goes to this side and these two terminals will goes to this side okay so how to change this side to this side and this side to this side if you use the rotating command like control r it will be rotating like this but here we are getting the negative at top and positive at bottom but we need a positive at top and negative at bottom right so we are not going to do this control r means rotating command but what we need to do so right click on this block and go to rotate and flip here you can use the flip block okay flip right side that's it here we are getting the positive here and negative here this is what we exactly we want for inverter okay and you can also use the command shortcut nothing but for flipping control i click on that block which block you need to flip then use the command control i that's it you can easily flip it right okay this is the shortcut to flip the block that's it okay now you can run the circuit this green color play button will act as a run command here so click on that one for this small block only you are taking this much time what if you design a big circuit in this matlab it will take so much time right so for that purpose we have a accelerator mode in here okay if you click on this normal here we have a accelerator mode also okay if you click on this one and if you run the circuit then this circuit will run as a faster than normal one okay that is the use of this accelerator mode that's it these are the some basics and shortcuts in next video i will explain the remaining shortcuts also